We live? We live? Yeah, we live. All right, man. It's Kilos here. Today we're going to be talking about hydraulic setups. Um, I'm going to be scoring between a one, two, and three. Three being on the high side, one being on the low side. We're going to look at three hydraulic companies. Uh, we're going to look at Black Magic. We're going to look at CCE, and we're going to look at Hoppos. Uh, I'm going to be comparing two pump setups, three pump setups, and square valves, and also zigzags or uh, slow down valves. And I'm also going to be talking about piston pumps. Uh, between these five subjects, I'm going to score one through three, as mentioned before. Um, and then we're going to see who comes out on top. Uh, in all honesty, most hydraulic setups, if you're getting a basic setup, you have to be aware that the motors are probably going to come from the same place. The gears are coming from the same place. The only thing that you're really getting that's made by that specific vendor is going to be the block, the backing plate, and maybe the hoses if they do that. Um, but the rest of the parts, they're pretty much, we live in an era where it's easier to source out and get that stuff from China and those things are no longer produced in the States. Not on a basic kit. If you get into the higher kits, that's when you'll start to see your Presto motor, your Presto gears, your Presto motors, your Marzacci's, your Pantheon uh, gears. So we'll get into that though. Uh, we're going to start off with a uh, Hoppo setup. It's a two pump front, back and corner kit. It's a, essentially you're going to pay $1,500. You're going to get your two back valves and your front valve, um, your dump valve. This is going to come with painted cylinders. It's going to be number eight or six for the front and number tens for the rear. I think it's a slight price increase if you wanted to go with 12 inch cylinders or larger. Um, you get your donuts and then you have your solenoids. I don't know if these solenoids are Acumax, um, but regardless, solenoids for the most part, we've become accustomed to Acumax, but for the most part, if you're running a solenoid, I mean, as long as you're not on dead batteries, you're not going to really have any issues. Um, the thing to also note is the switches that are going to come with these are going to be Chinese switches. You want to try to get some carving switches because if your switches stick, uh, it's not a pleasant day for you and you'll realize real quick that it's not that pleasant. Um, and then we're going to look at a CCE setup. The CCE two pump setup, you're getting four valves, uh, dump valves, so essentially you're getting one extra valve but you're getting eight inch cylinders. These are painted cylinders um, for $1,399, so essentially $100 less. Um, but if you wanted to increase your cylinder size, you'd have to pay a little bit more. Uh, this is also a sale. Typically, it is the same price as the Hoppo's one. Typically, it is $1,499, uh, essentially $1,500. Um, and then we're going to compare that to the Black Magic setup. The Black Magic setup is a two pump, half inch street kit. Uh, currently, it said it was out of stock. I'm not sure. They do have a performance street kit set. Uh, the price was just a little bit more. So I try to stay around the same range of the price. Um, and that is $1,455. Um, for the most part, all three of these kits are pretty much going to be really similar, so no matter which one you went with, um, the only difference between this one is you're able to get a uh, number 8 or 6 or 10 or 12 at no cost to you for your cylinders, but the cylinders are raw. They do build those in-house, but uh, they are raw just FYI, so you either have to paint them or chrome them. The way I broke the scores down for that one is purely almost based off of price, and that would be CCE would be number one. Uh, Black Magic number two and Hoppo's number one. Uh, and again, this is our these are scoring points, so it's kind of the higher the score, the better it is. Um, so we're gonna look at three pump setups. Uh, three pump setup from Hoppo's is nineteen hundred dollars. You're gonna get a three pump front, back, and corners. So essentially, you're still staying with the three dump valves. You're getting one for the front and then one for each corner. Uh, these are going to be the 8 inch cylinders and then the tents for the rear, you're getting your donuts, your same solenoids, uh, same switches. The only thing that's really changing with this setup is you are getting that additional motor, or that additional pump to the front. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then we're going to look at CCE. CCE has their 3 pump kit for $1,699, so essentially $1,700. Um, same as before, 8 inch cylinders all the way around, you're going to get one dump valve for each corner in the rear and then you're going to get two dump valves for the front. Um, so, and then we're going to look at that Black Magic setup. The Black Magic, I went into their performance street kit side uh, because I didn't want to say that everything there was out of stock. All you have to do is select the gear that you want and then you'll be able to purchase what you want and that's how the price is kind of determined. The price kind of fluctuates between $1,940 through $2,040. Um, so essentially it's going to be pretty similar to that other, the other two. So 
the way I ranked these was CCE again because of price. Um, and then I ranked Hoppo's being number two and then Black Magic number one because it was a little bit more expensive on this side uh, as far as going with the other. So it was based off of sheer price again. Um, so that's how we ranked those. And I also want to say I did try to go into the portion where you purchase to see what the shipping was because sometimes people have stuff listed at a lower price and then they get you on the back end with shipping. The only website that was kind of truthful was Hoppo's. Hoppo's told me it would be about $200 to $250 to ship uh, the setup. Black Magic, it was out of stock, so I was unable to kind of get that taken care of. And then for uh, CCE, I actually had to be ready to purchase for them to give me the shipping price. Uh, so it was kind of, I wasn't able to assess that. Um, and now we're going to look at dumped valves. Um, when you're looking at dump files, we have to remember you have the OG Adel, which is aircraft surplus. Then in 95, Andy came out and he made the ADEX, and it's kind of been working on it, tinkering and perfecting it ever since. And uh, it actually made 25 years this year. Big up to Andy. Um, but, and then we have the Adel 2, which essentially there is an Adel 2 that is original to a the original Adel aircraft company. But the ADEL 2s that are on the streets for the most part are a copy of an ADEX. So let's just keep that in mind. Um, between, the, between all of them, um, an ADEX will always typically rain supreme. Uh, but if you have an ADEL 2, by all means, you could see them nose to nose in the hot pit. They're going to do about the same. Uh, we're a lot further along than we were in the 90s. And that's really, really where it made a difference. Um, but let's get into it. We're going to look at the HAPOs. Hapos has their square valve for $1,200. This is the all US made dump valve. They're building everything in house. Uh, but if you saw in the video when I was at Hapos, Alex actually came out and said that he typically doesn't make them because there's not enough profit uh, margin on them. And he can make other things, have his machines building other pieces of equipment that are a little bit more profitable. And in the lowrider business, I mean, you have to stay in profit. It's a business. So if you're not in profit and you're just out here, doing things to make pennies out of dollar, you're not going to succeed. Um, CCE has their Super Duty ADEX for $799. As we all know, this price is outdated, so I'm going to assume that since it's out of stock that they no longer have any ADEX in stock or they maybe don't even work with Andy anymore. Um, this was a great dump valve. You were able to get it for that price, but right now a typical ADEX is probably about $1,200 to $2,000 and that depends on if it's a specialty made one, dual port or tri-port and then you also have your super duties in there. There's a couple different variants, the reason why it might be whatever price. And then we're going to look at Black Magic. Black Magic has their ADEL2 Extreme Duty valves. Uh, An Extreme Duty is essentially the same as the ADEX Super Duty. Uh, there's a little bit of a difference but it's very minute which being the bottom plate. On the dump valve is actually a little bit thicker. Internals are pretty much similar and then for the candle it's going to be similar to a super duty which means that, that it's not a self grounding so you actually have to run a ground wire and the hot wire to the connection up top. Sometimes you'll see people who have setups and they'll just have a one pin on the hot and that's because that is a self grounding. As long as you don't run anything like anodized fittings you'll have a ground going through the, the, the setup and it'll be able to ground your actual setup. Uh, your dump valve. If you have like anodized or things that are breaking up that ground, then you're going to have to run a separate ground, but that will be the only instance. But in this valve, you have to run a separate uh, separate ground because it is not self-grounded. Um, so in that way, I, I rank Black Magic because the price and quality of what you're getting, I'm going to say that that's number three. Hoppos because although they might not carry it on the website, if you want one, you can get one for $1,200 and they're number two. CCE no longer has the ADEX listed and the price is updated. So as mentioned before, I'm going to assume that they no longer work with Andy. So they get a number one of that one. Uh, I'm going to look at piston pumps now. For Hoppos, Hoppos has this piston pump with an HD motor and a number 11 Presto high gear. Um, I'm not exactly sure what an HD motor is. I'm going to assume that it has thicker uh, copper inside of the inside of the motor so it's less likely to burn out. Um, but you're also getting a Presto high gear. It's a pretty good gear. Um, you're getting a number 11, which is a good hopping gear. Um, so for the most part, I mean, this is gonna, probably going to be, it doesn't specify in here, but I'm going to assume that it's a one inch port to number 12. Uh, for the most part, I mean, this is pretty good for $695, $700. 
not bad. Um, and then we're going to look at CCE. CCE has their uh, competition pump. It's a raw tank. That's typical. Um, you're going to get your one inch port, number 12 up top, side port, three inch return. Um, and then you're going to get the biggest thing about this one, I'm going to say, is you're getting a Marzachi. You could go with a number 11 or number 13. Uh, Marzachi gears are known not to burn up, so if you got a Marzachi, you're pretty much in a good hands. Marzachi actually is a company based out of Italy, so if you ever hear anybody saying an Italian gear, that means that they're talking about Marzachi. Um, so, and then you have Black Magic. Black Magic has a piston uh, with a one inch block, uh, and then I'm assuming if the block is a one inch, maybe this is number eight, three eighths, I'm assuming. I, I'm not too sure. No, I'm assuming that the, the parts are one eight, the one inch. Okay. So with Black Magic, we have this one inch block. Um, so at number 12, uh, with this one, you're getting the backing plate like the others, you're getting uh, the tank. But this one comes with the gear that they build in house, their Pantheon competition gear. You can get a number nine, a number 11, a number 13. Typically, most people run a number 11, uh, but that is for $805. Um, the way I broke these down was. They all got a three. Black Magic got a three, CCE got a three, and Hoppos got a three. The reason that is is because they all beefed up the motors. They all have higher gears. Um, so I mean, for it's only a, a hundred dollar price range between the difference of them. So what it really wasn't that big of a deal. Um, so I think they all kind of did well on that one. Now we're going to look at slowdowns built in house. Um, when you're building a hydraulic setup. The biggest thing is the accessories that you run with it. Uh, nobody really likes to see the little brass slow down with the little T on top. Uh, those are no bueno. You'll have a, you'll, those will blow on you, no issue, you know. Um, and honestly, I don't really like the Parker style, the, the Fawcett style, but we'll get into that. Um, or the, the Hex ones. I prefer to see Fawcett styles if possible. Uh, my favorite, in all honesty, are the OG Parkers. If you want to get any of those, you can reach out to Faucets and Filters. That's Frank. Um, Faucets and Filters on Instagram. He's the homie. Let him know. Kilo sent you. He also has sites and a couple other uh, pieces that he might be divulged uh, in telling you. Uh, but we're going to get into some of these slowdowns. Hoppos has a zigzag slowdown for $150. Uh, this comes polished. Uh, it's a nice, you got a little acorn nut on top. Uh, these are good valves. You can see the beefy nut on the, the front of the valve uh, to kind of tie into the rest of the aesthetic. That's kind of pays homage to the original slowdowns. That's how they would look. Um, but for $150, you have that from Hopples. We're going to look at CCE. CCE has a half inch, a three eighth, or a quarter inch slowdown. Uh, these are the Parker style. I'm not sure if these are actually Parkers. They're not listed as Parker slowdowns. Um, but these are probably some of, amongst my least favorite ones, um, especially if you have an all chrome setup and you have these on there, it just doesn't look the best. Uh, even chrome, they don't seem that appealing uh, as far as in a setup. Uh, no offense to anybody out there running them. I'm sure, I mean, you got to do what's inside of your budget, but they're just not my personal favorite. Um, then we're going to see what Black Magic has. Black Magic has their zigzag slowdowns, their Hydro Dane. For eighty to one hundred and ten dollars, the eighty dollar is raw, and then one hundred and ten is their polished aluminum. Um, it's a nice little slowdown, uh, a little bit more rounded than the the Hoppos. Uh, the way I broke that down was Black Magic because you're spending forty dollars less than their polished version. They're getting a three, Hoppos is getting two, and CCE is getting a one since they only have the Parker lookalike style ones. Um, with that, the final score: Black Magic is scoring twelve. CCE scoring 11, Hoppos is scoring 10. In all honesty, I love all these companies. I've actually been to all three of them. Uh, Black Magic, I was at uh, right before the Vegas show. I walked in, me and Ron were supposed to go over some Adel uh, questions and stuff. Wasn't able to happen because of, I mean, he was pretty busy and that's fully understandable. Uh, Hoppos, that's on the YouTube channel. You guys can see that. Alex was great and uh, it was great to actually get back there and see everything. I'm really big into hydraulic setups and seeing how these things are produced and it was an honor and a great privilege to see uh, that shop in its full like capacity, you know. And then for CCE, I reached out to them. I was in Kentucky for work. Um, I never got a call back or anything, so I just kind of let it be. I know that they sometimes do have odd hours. 
But if you made it to this far in the video, I just want to say thank you. Uh, I'm going to be giving away one of my first uh, copies of Lowrider Magazine. These are repops. These are from the 2003. Uh, they did a repop of this. So these are the slightly smaller versions. Some people don't realize how do you tell the difference between an OG and a repop. The repops, the, the scale is a little bit smaller. It actually follows more of a magazine format. Like I have a calendar here from 96 and it follows pretty much similar, a similar profile. The actual larger ones are pretty big. Uh, they look more like a zine, or, uh, so that's kind of how they were produced. Um, but those kind of, sometimes I'm skeptical if they're actually OGs. But in this instance, you're able to win one. Uh, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Let me know what your favorite hydraulic setup is. I mean, I only went over three today. There's tons of other ones. I love my thinner stones. I love, I love aircraft. I don't care. Obviously, if you're watching the channel, you know I love my aircraft stuff. Um, but I love reds. I like seeing their blocks. I like my first cutlass actually had a pro hopper setup. I used to love pro hopper. Um, it's just hard to kind of get some of the equipment out because you're either going to have to get it repopped or. Um, I would love to get my hands on some Stillman stuff, OG Stillman, man, he was the motherfucking OG represent, um, Kool-Aid Hydraulics, all these guys, I mean, uh, down in Dallas, Fort Worth, you had Lojo, um, High Low out there, I mean, there's tons of people out there producing hydraulic equipment, so just the three that I went over today, there are three, I feel like the larger ones, so don't feel like those are the only three, but when you're looking at the things, I feel like I gave kind of, uh, a good assessment of things that you should be looking at. Again, I did try to go over shipping because sometimes people have prices low and then they're shipping really high. The only people that divulged the actual shipping price was Hoppo's. Um, so that would be that. If Random fact, I know I said that was done, but this is my dog. His name is Pesco. Uh, we really bought that lowrider stuff over here, man. Right, Pesco? Do not forget to get it. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. We out, man. Peace.